right, welcome to day one of Electromagnetic Motion Week. And today we're going to start with our supplies. Uh, again, my name is Salvador, uh, in case you guys forgot. And we'll start with our supplies. We have a stack of uh, note uh, what do you call these? Cards. Note cards, yeah. We have a stack of note cards. We have a resistance wire. It's very thin, so you gotta watch out for that. Make sure you don't drop it. We have alligator clips, a electric motor, a poker chip, a very special, very small um, glue stick with a hole in it, a paint paddle, two batteries, a battery pack, your coloring supplies, tape, and of course your glue guns. Alright, so the way we start this is by grabbing your paint paddle and you grab your motor and you want to glue this onto your paint paddle right towards the end like that. Make sure you don't put glue over these vents because they can ruin your motor. Okay, while that's cooling off, we can work on our battery pack. You'll see that your battery pack has two leads. It's got a black one and a red one. We're gonna cut the black lead a little bit shorter than the red one. Let's say about half, halfway down. So you can bend it in half and that's where we will cut. Just like that. Okay, now you have a short black lead and a long red lead. Uh, next up, we'll open up our alligator clips, get those guys ready. Okay, and the way these guys go in is by crimping this, this uh, rear side right here. We crimp that onto the wire, right? but first we gotta expose these wires. So let me show you how to do that. You use these wire strippers and you'll find the smallest size, the smallest gauge all the way towards the front. You put your wire right in the little hole right there and you pull. It might take a few times. There we go. There's my exposed wire. Now we do the same thing with the black lead. Right. Now, you know, there's a few ways to do this actually. So one way is that we, for all these, you have to twist your wire together. If not, this would be all frizzy. So you gotta twist it, twist it. All right, so one way is to weave your wire through these small holes right here and then weave it back through. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, just like that. So you weave it through there and then you twist this. And that secures it. Another way is to fit your wire through the rear. Just like this, and then you bend it over the top. Just like that. And then you crimp it down. There you go. So that's two different ways. You can choose whichever one you want. Uh, at this point, you you want to clip your black wire onto your red one like this, and that is to prevent short circuits. If these two leads connect, uh, your batteries would run dry, and you wouldn't have any power. So 
a good safeguard is to always clip your black wire to your red one like that. That way there's less of a chance that they'll touch. Alright. Okay, so now let's move on to this side over here. You can take your resistance wire. Okay. It's a very thin wire. You're gonna put it onto one of your leads off of your motor. Your motor has two little gold leads. You can put it on through one. And then you're gonna twist it together so it doesn't come off. Just like that. I'll go over what the resistance wire does once we have all this set up. Uh, the next, the next bit of this is you take your your little glue stick. Your glue stick has a hole in it. You got to make sure that the hole is um, accessible. So what we have to do here is put a little bit of glue on your poker chip right in the middle. And this is this is the poker chip without a hole in it. Okay. And then you put your glue stick right in the middle right there with the hole facing up. And let that cool down. Okay, while that's cooling down, I'm gonna tape on my battery pack right here. So we'll use some white tape. Alright, now that your poker chip cooled off, you can install it onto your motor. You just firmly press it onto the motor shaft and make sure it can freely spin. And now we're ready to test this. So to test this, we will put the black lead onto the, the motor lead, the one without the resistance wire. And then we'll put the resistance wire on the red lead. And you can see it's spinning. Look at that. Okay, so now we have our... So the way we test this is by connecting the red lead to the end of the resistance wire. Right there. And you can see it's spinning. All right. And with the resistance wire, I might have to prop this up. With the resistance wire, you can change the speed of your motor. By sliding your, your, red, uh, your red clip back and forth. So, right, so the closer it is, the more of these electrons from the batteries get to the motor. The farther away it is, the more of those electrons get converted to uh, heat because of the res uh, resistance wire. Yeah. All right, so now what do we do with this, right? There's a whole lot of things we could do with this. Uh, first thing is we can put a glue on with one little dot of glue. You don't need a whole lot. Glue on one of these note cards, right? And see what happens when you plug this in. Look at that. It's pretty good, huh? Then you can grab a marker. You can draw on this. Maybe grab a different color. All right. Let's go for another color. And you can unclip it. 
you can see your little artwork. All right, you can also you bend these guys in, just like that. You'll have a pretty effective fan. You can feel the air coming off of that. Alright, then you can rip this off. You can glue on the second one. Or another one, I guess. Just like that. Do some color, some color combination. So you draw a little, little half circle. Color it in blue. Then take another little, take yellow. Color that in. Then you plug it in. Look at that. You get green. So switch over. Just like that. And you can draw anything you want now and just see how it looks once it's uh once it's spinning. Alright, you can draw anything you want. And then you plug it in, you can observe how it looks once it's spinning. You, if you get creative with it, you can also tap the leads and change the speed of it to slow it down. So once you've, once you got this built, you can create as many of these, uh, these little creations as you want and mess around with it. You can make different shapes, maybe a fan with four bends works better. You could also cut these, it doesn't have to be a square, it could be a circle, right? You can make actual fan flutes or what do you call these blades there you go fan blades All right. you can get you can just get creative with this just like that and um, yeah just have fun with it uh, Leave it as it is, try not to modify it too much because tomorrow we will be making a car with it.